Hallo ihr Lieben und willkommen zurück zu Dreamfall Chapters. So, wir fragen den guten Puppenspieler mal nach den Seelenstein und dann hoffe ich, dass wir uns die Puppenshow angucken können. Dann erzähl mal. Do you recall owning a soul stone? A soul stone? I... I don't know what you're talking about. I was just wondering, since there are so many impressive tales about your powers where I come from. And where would that be? Um... That was a long time ago. In another life. I've moved on. I'm a different person now in every way. I was just wondering what happened to the stone. She took it, that bitch. Balance? Pardon me? I don't know where that came from. Who? The Yaga. The Wicked Witch of the North, as these simpletons call her. As if they have any idea who and what she truly is. She lurks in Riverwood in the dark places she feeds on that stone like a... <coughs> like I said, that's in the past and I've left it all behind long ago. Now I make an honest living bringing joy to children through my most excellent and revolutionary finger puppet theater. And on that note, I must beg your pardon, young miss. The show is about to begin. Can we please talk again afterwards? I have some more questions. Uh, sure, sure, sure. Absolutely after the show. After the show, yes, 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 yes. Toodaloo. <laughs> Toodaloo. <laughs> <coughs> yes, here we go. Yeah, jetzt geht's los. Ah, oh, wir können gucken. Be so good. Ladies and gentlemen, Na, dann lehnt euch mal zurück. Boys and girls, humans and well, humans and you a zodi soldier standing over there. You're welcome to watch, just don't rattle your sabers or rustle your suits. Uh, welcome to this morning's performance of The Fingerlings. Uh, I am your host and puppeteer, Rupert Klax, esteemed thespian and raconteur, author and entrepreneur. My book is available for purchase with a free personalized dedication. <laughs> Speak to me after the show. A donation is both appreciated and expected. Drop your coins into the box after the show. Remember that every iron piece goes towards a good purpose. <laughs> Go fingerlings! My beloved fingerlings! Handcrafted reproductions of renowned actors from across Arcadia, immortalized in finger puppet form by skilled artisans. Using only the finest fabrics and natural materials, these lovely creatures are as dear to me as children and as talented and protean as the finest human players. You're all welcome to approach the stage after the show, of course, to admire my finely crafted miniatures up close and intimately. No food, no touching, no children. And now, beloved audience, prepare yourselves for a journey into mystery for a true story of wizardry and magic. I present to you The tale of the good-hearted wizard and the villainous winch. Once upon a time in the distant north, there lived a kindly old wizard in a wonderful flying castle. This very friendly wizard liked to tease and toy with the people of the land, and sometimes he would do silly things like uh, turn them into stone or furry animals and bottle up the wind. <laughs> Naturally, he meant no harm, and the people of the land loved the wizard like they would a grandfather, a very young and very, very handsome grandfather. But one day, an evil sorceress from a distant land came to visit the kindly wizard. This ugly, selfish witch didn't understand that the wizard was only trying to make people happy. She used her dark sorcery to steal all of his possessions and trap him inside a 
tiny little box where the gentle wizard was barely able to breathe. The poor old man was trapped for many moons inside this box before a benevolent wandering god arrived to free him from his prison. The wizard pledged eternal allegiance to the wandering god in return for vengeance against the cruel witch who trapped him. Together they... There he is, Commander. The dangerous loon who's corrupting our youth with his occult finger rings. What? What's this? What? What are you doing? What's going on? You can't... Hey! Hey, hands off! You're teaching children of magic, old man. You ought to know better. Release me, you dishonorable brute! By the authority vested in me by the Greater Azadi Empire and the Emissary, and in accordance with provisional imperial law prohibiting any and all teachings of occult magic, I'm taking you into custody. You can't do this! You don't know who I am! Tell it to the Magistrate Wizard. My fingerlings! My precious handcrafted fingerlings! No! Spielverderber! Ich glaube, dass sie ihn arrestet haben. Mann! Wie geht die Geschichte aus? Hi, hey, Krio. Was war denn jetzt so? Sprich mit Krio. Machen wir gleich. Was ist denn los? Ich kann nicht glauben, dass sie ihn arrestet haben. Was ein Travesty! Ja, ne? Ach, Mann. Ich wollte wissen, wie es weitergeht. Ich glaube nicht, dass er da allein ist. Er hat eine Kompanie. Es gibt etwas falsch mit ihm. When I looked at his face, I saw shadows. Hmm, Kinder durchblicken einen, ne? Stupid wizard, he's still trapped. But this time he's trapped inside himself. Hmm. Krass, ne? Die Kleine, wie sie redet. Wo sind die Fingerlinge? Hallo und herzlich willkommen zu einer neuen Show. Wir dürfen keine Show machen. Okay, Krähe. Was ist denn los? I didn't see that coming. I guess the Azadi aren't fans of creepy puppet shows either. I think it had more to do with him being a wizard. Okay, shit. So what now? He was my only lead to the Soul Stone. All I have to go on is something about a Yaga and Riverwood. Riverwood? I know Riverwood. I've been to Riverwood. If it's Riverwood you need, I know how to get to Riverwood. Really? And the Yaga? The Wicker Witch? I don't know anything about Yagas, but I do know something about witches in Riverwood. On my last trip there, we had a close encounter with one of them. That witch is toast, of course, but I can probably find my way back to Riverwood. It's north. We go north. Wait, which way is up? Yeah, north! Okay. Uh, okay. That's something, right? Much better than nothing. We just need a way to get north that doesn't involve me walking all the way. Or me flying. I'm not flying all that way. I tire easily. Wait. I feel a cunning plan coming on. Follow me, Zoe. Uh-oh. It's either a cunning plan or I need the toilet. But I'm pretty sure it's a cunning plan. <laughs> okay. Na, dann mal gucken, was er für einen Plan hat. Oder wir gucken ihn jetzt beim Pupu machen zu. <lacht> Keine Ahnung. I still can't believe you pulled off the voice and the whole fake hand thing. The hat looked great on you. Oh, totally. Uh, not so sure about the beard though. My face is itchy. Speaking of faces, I can never show mine in Mercuria again. Not after that last bit we did. If everything goes well, you won't have to. At least we have a ride. Can I trust this thing? They're docile cows, the Elguan. Just leave it to me. Mush, Daisy. Mush. Whoa, whoa. I think you're upsetting her. I'll, uh, I'll leave the cowgirling to you. I'll fly ahead and scout the terrain instead. Don't lose sight of me. Yeah, cool. Haben wir ein richtig schickes Gefährt gefunden. Oh, jetzt geht's bestimmt mit Kieren weiter, ne? 
Uh, how much longer will this journey take? Must be nearly a week now. It's been less than two days, and I'm beginning to regret bringing you along. You're stuck in the cargo hold of a cloud ship with your worst enemy. How could you possibly have any regrets? And people say you have no sense of humor. Hmm. Entschuldigen oder schlafen? Wahrscheinlich dafür, dass wir seine, seinen Vater da ermordet hatten, ne? Seine Stimme ähm, gefällt mir dann im Englischen sehr viel besser von dem Liko. Die deutsche Stimme von Liko hat mir nicht so gut gefallen. Die anderen Stimmen fand ich alle okay. Aber die von Liko, die war echt irgendwie gewöhnungsbedürftig. So, entschuldigen. If there was ever a time to make peace with Liko, this is likely it. Maybe there's still a chance to create a bond between us. Hm. We're on a mission. This is neither the time nor place to make peace with Liko. We already fight side by side. That's our bond. Besides, I'm tired. Tja, auch wenn du müde bist, aber nun haben wir gerade mal eine ruhige Minute und wer weiß, was uns da passiert, ob wir überhaupt heil zurückkommen. Der Versuch ist es immerhin wert, auch wenn ich nicht weiß, ob man sowas überhaupt entschuldigen kann, aber wir können es ja mal versuchen, denn Kian bereut das ja offensichtlich. If there was ever a time to make peace with Liko, this is likely it. Maybe there's still a chance to create a bond between us. Tja, auch wenn es die Reue ein bisschen spät kommt und das auch eigentlich auch nichts ändern wird, also es kann Liko eigentlich scheißegal sein, muss ich ganz ehrlich sagen. Wäre ich Liko, ich würde ihm nicht verzeihen. Muss ich ganz ehrlich sagen. Das ist zu krass, glaube ich. I'm sorry about your father. I know that may not amount to much now, but I was a different person then. I was blind to the possibility that there could be more than one truth. There's been so much death on the road to this place. I left an innocent man behind to die during my escape from Friar's Keep. I thought I was doing the right thing, but I only caused him more pain. When I visited his widow, she only had hate for me. She couldn't understand my reasons for doing what I did. I watched Balse Bakim bleed to death so that I could make my escape through a blood magic portal. I still wonder if his sacrifice was worth it. Have I repaid that debt? Shepard believes so. But many thought him a better man than I, so why did he have to die? I've tortured men for information. What did I gain from these actions? What did it change? What would have been different had I acted differently? All of these choices, Liko, they add up. My soul is heavy. The others believe me unaffected because I carry on as if nothing happened. But their faces and voices are there when I close my eyes. Those deaths never leave me. No words can undo these deeds. There are no excuses for the wrongs I've committed. But I am trying to heal the wounds I've inflicted. It's a long journey, Liko. I know. When you arrived from Friar's Keep, I wanted you dead. Really? I couldn't tell. And people say you have no sense of humor. They do? We've been through much since then. I believe I know you. A little. You've taken up arms against your own people, risking shame, death, and your immortal soul. Because you believe they're misguided. And it cannot be easy being hated and feared by both sides. I may still despise you because you murdered my father. I may still dislike you because you're an arrogant and intolerant shit. But I respect you, Kian. And I trust you. Ernst werden, humorvoll nehmen. Ich denke, wir werden mal ernst. That trust goes both ways, Liko. Well, I'm taking a nap. This half of the hold is mine. Stick to your side. Or I may stab you in my sleep. Don't worry. I've no intention of cuddling up next to you. Ich bin ernst gewesen, weil ich der Meinung bin, dass das ein ernstes Gespräch Kian, einfach war. Are you awake? I wasn't. This has now changed. Did I ever tell you how my society views people like us? I don't believe so. The Dole and Tiqua consider themselves tolerant and inclusive in all matters. 
And yet I've always had to hide who I am from my family and friends. If they knew the truth, I'd be ostracized. Tolerance, it seems, has its limits. But in the Resistance, no one cares. This thing we share? It doesn't change how they feel about us. It's strange. Strange, but liberating. With the Resistance, you are who and what you decide to be. Regardless of color and creed, gender and religion, and... I thought you loved April Ryan. I did. I do, but... Not like that. She was someone I cared deeply about, and always will. But I could never have shared my life with her. I still miss her every day. She gave me strength. Nah, I'm going back to sleep. We have a long day ahead of us tomorrow. A day of sitting in the dark, bickering about who passed gas? Like I said, a long day. Ah, schön, dass die beiden sich mal ein bisschen aussprechen können. Auch, dass Liko das äh, langsam zulässt. Freut mich. Es ist wichtig, über Sachen zu reden. Und wir sind im zehnten Kapitel. Oh, der Bildschirm, der sieht geil aus. Oh, schon wieder Zoe? Es war ein kurzer Abschnitt mal. Den wir mit Kiel verbracht haben. Oh, guck mal, wie schön das aussieht. Wie die Sonnenstrahlen da durch die Bäume brechen. Und der Morgentau auf den Steinen noch so, ne? Never trust an Elguan, cowardly cows. Oh, something must have spooked it. What do we do now? This place looks familiar. I think we're close. In fact, I think we're... Leave! Go, or I'll call the others! Whoa, hey there, I'm, I'm friendly and, and unarmed. You're human. You can't be fr... Bird? Crowbird? Hello. Hey, you're that fretful furry thing we met the first time we came through here. Ben... Franklin. Ben Bandu. <laughs> this isn't the same human who accompanied you last time. This is my new human. She's mostly harmless. Say hello, Zoe. <laughs> Don't be rude. <laughs> also, ich bin sein Mensch. Sehr gut. Aber, ey, das ist doch nicht hier so ein, ähm, ein Murmeltier, wollte ich gerade sagen. Das ist so ein, ähm, Maulwurf. Ich dachte, die Maulwürfin, die wir getroffen hatten, war die letzte ihrer Art. Ist ja doch nicht. Dann gibt's ja noch mehr von euch. Misstrauisch, guten Tag, weiterziehen. No, warum? Wir sind freundlich. I guess. Hello? Ja. Hello. Hello. Are you the new Bandu and Bata? Bamboo, what? Bam no, I have no idea. I'm Zoe. You're a dreamer. So they keep saying. I'm not very good at it. How did you know? We live close to the dreaming here. Her dreams surround us. The Yaga. That's it! That's the one we're looking for, right, Zoe? The Yaga! You're... you're looking for the Yaga? Are, on purpose? Are you mad? Oh, I'm not. Her? I'm not so sure about. You know the Yaga? She lives in this forest. We do not speak her name. She's... She's mean. Okay, she's böse. Warum? Teddy Bear probably knows more about the Yaga. Erzähl mal. Who is she? The... Yaga? She's old. Really old. She's been around since long before my people came to this forest. Once, she had many servants. Witches, warlocks, evil ones, like in the stories told by the elders. But her servants are all gone now, so she woke up and crossed into our world. She doesn't belong here, but she's lonely. 
And hungry. Hungry. Great. Well, we still have to find her. She has the Soul Stone. The Soul Stone? I've heard of the Soul Stone. The Yaga took it from the fallen fortress of her warlock. Warlock? Roper Clax worked for the Yaga? They all did. The Gribbler, Clax, all the evil witches and warlocks of the Northlands. But they're gone now. Just like my people. April Ryan imprisoned the warlock and killed the witch. She saved us all. But then... Then the Azadi came with sharp blades and metal tubes that spewed fire. They murdered most of us. Some fled east. I'm the only one left here now. That's terrible. I'm so sorry. One day, they'll come back. All the surviving Banda. Until then, I watch over their burrows. And I sing. For them. For all of us. This... Soul Stone. It's important? Very. You'll use it to fight the Azadi? That's part of it, yes. I'll take you to the Yaga. Or as close as I dare go to her lair, anyway. Great! I was expecting you to say no, and by expecting, I mean hoping. Does the bird always speak like that? I'm afraid so. Lead the way, Ben. Okay, das ist ja echt lieb von Ben. Auch man der Arme. Aber er wird singen. Das wird schon wieder. Oh, das ist auch so ein Satz, ne? Wird schon wieder. Jetzt bin ich gespannt. Oh oh. The Yaga is beyond the ridge. Once you cross that, you're in her realm. You're not coming with? Did you not hear me when I said she was hungry? No, I'm not coming with you. The walls of that place are thin, and she can smell my magic. A wise decision, tiny man. Come on, Zoe, let's turn around and head back with Ben Ben. Maybe catch a fat squirrel and roast it for dinner? This is what we came here for. If we don't get the soul stone... Everyone dies, the world ends, no more Christmases, blah blah blah. <laughs> I'm so sick of walking into one perilous scenario after the other. After we're done with this one, no more adventures. I swear to the feather gods of old. You'll know you're there when you see the Gribbler's old house. She was the witch who lived here before. The Gribbler served the Yaga, and that's where she came through from the beyond. Will you wait for us, Ben? I'll wait until nightfall. But if you're not back by then... We'll be back. And I had such a craving for Crispy Squirrel. Okay. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Finde die Jager. Ich habe ja ein bisschen Bammel vor der Jager. Also der Ben hat mir jetzt nicht gerade Mut gemacht. So, aber... Ich sehe gerade die Zeit. Die, die Gespräche waren gerade so interessant. Ich mache hier erstmal nochmal eine kleine Pause. Und dann sehen wir uns in der nächsten Runde wieder bei Dreamfall Chapters. Dann danke ich euch fürs Zuschauen. Und dann sehen wir uns in der nächsten Runde, wie gesagt... Wieder, wenn wir vielleicht die Jager treffen. Ich weiß nicht, wie schnell ich da durchkomme. Aber ich hoffe es. Ich bin gespannt. Alles klar, ihr Lieben. Bis denn. Tschüss, Zoe. Tschüss, tschüss.